Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rula. I hope everyone is doing well. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Christmas slash holiday fine fragrance mists I have in my collection. Um, these are all from Bath & Body Works. Uh, I did a similar uh, video quite a while ago in regard with my fall fragrances I have or body mists I have from Bath & Body Works. So I decided to do a holiday edition. Um, my collection is not large by no means, uh, but, um, and also as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, I, I'm thinking in the new year, probably uh, early 2024, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire, um, uh, updated version of my fine fragrance mists. Um, and my collection has grown uh, quite a bit. Um, but I love it all and it just makes me happy. Um, now, uh, I know a lot of people when it comes to body mist, they will wear, um, wear them according to the season. I'm not like that. I will wear these fragrances all year round. Um, whatever su suits my mood that day. Um, and, um, yeah, but, uh, how I categorize everything on my shelf is by season, but I don't necessarily wear by season, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, I'm not going to go through the uh, fine fragrance notes, uh, fragrance notes. I'm just going to show you guys um, what I have and uh, I may make uh, some comments here and there. So, but yeah, I'm going to get started. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, first one I have is Winter Candy Apple in this packaging from 2019. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's got some owls there and some apples. Uh, there are no scent notes. So um, that's Winter Candy Apple. Um, next, um, this is a Frosted Coconut Snowball. I have from 2019 <clears throat> in this uh, packaging. It's quite pretty. Again, no scent notes. Uh, next, I have uh, Vanilla Bee Noel from last year's packaging. I do like the packaging from last year. Um, and again, uh, I'm going to be sounding like a broken record. Um, to all my U.S. subscribers, I am Canadian, so therefore I shop at the Canadian Bath & Body Works stores. So what you will notice on our packages um, is French and English. Uh, those are our two official languages here in Canada. And also, um, we don't have any price points at all in our, uh, on our packages. Also, you will notice different languages as well on the back as well because... Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, Canada is considered as an international market uh, with uh, Bath & Body Works, and Bath & Body Works products are sold in other countries besides um, Canada and the U.S. So anyways, that's uh, Vanilla Bean Noel in last year's packaging. Um, <clears throat> this is Winter Candy Apple in this year's packaging in the Faceted absolutely beautiful i love it and this is another winter candy apple this is my backup so from this year and next is uh, vanilla bean noel in this year's packaging i love vanilla bean noel this year guys it is so good um it's quite strong this year uh, i do recommend this one from this year and I love it so much that I got a backup a while ago. Uh, next um, is Twisted Peppermint from this year's packaging. I'm happy to have this in my collection. Um, <clears throat> next, uh, this is a Vanilla Mocha Martini. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, this was released last year. This used to be called or uh, Vanilla Mocha Cream at some point, but they uh, renamed it to Vanilla Mocha Martini. Um, 
I wish they would bring this back, guys. Uh, this one is your coffee mocha type of fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I'm hoping to maybe find uh, one during uh, the winter SAS. If I do, I will definitely pick it up uh, as a backup. I should have picked up a backup first time around. So uh, that's Vanilla Mocha Martini. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next um, is last year's uh, packaging in Strawberry Snowflakes in this opaque uh, faceted bottle. I wear this in the summer, guys, so um, as well. So that Strawberry Snowflakes, it's so pretty. It's very yummy. <coughs> and uh, this is this year's uh, packaging, Strawberry Snowflakes. And I have a feeling, guys, this is not going to come back next year. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just something tells me. I could be wrong, but yeah, I feel like this is not going to come back um, next year. So if you do see it, if pick it up. So because, like I said, it's going to be gone. I, that's my feeling. Um, <clears throat> next, uh, this is Winter Berry Wonder. This was last year's. Um, packaging um, they did release it again this year I was not able to get uh, one for this year but um, <clears throat> I do have last year's version um, if I do see it during SAS I probably will uh, pick it up um, yeah Winterberry Wonder is a classic uh, I absolutely love this one so it's not your typical berry uh, fragrance, I would say. So, but yeah, I, I, I love, love Winterberry Wonder. And I love the purple. So, <laughs> packaging. And, uh, this one is Fireside Flurries. Um, this one was released in 2021. This is the 2021 packaging. Um, <clears throat> and this was released last year as well. Um, I wish I had picked up a last year's version as well as a backup. I absolutely love Fireside Flurries. Sadly, this is, did not come back um, this year. I hope this will come back um, possibly next year. So I, if it does, I will definitely pick it up. And again, if I see uh, Fireside Flurries during the winter SAS, I will definitely pick it up. Because you never know um, during the winter SAS or any, uh, whether it's the summer or winter SAS, you don't know what will turn up. Um, so, yeah, that's on my list. Um, this one I recently picked up. Uh, this is Bright Christmas Morning. It's very festive. Um, and, um, yeah, this one could be worn during the uh, summer months as well. Um, this was released last year. I did not pick it up last year, but I'm happy to uh, have uh, picked it up this year. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's Bright Christmas Morning. Um, <clears throat> I picked up Frosted Coconut Snowball again this year in this year's packaging. Um, <clears throat> next, um, this is Into the Night. Um, this can be found in stores all year round. This is part of their signature line, uh, which is available all year round. Um, and this is my OG package packaging of um, Into the Night. I, I got this when it was first released. Um, and I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works. Uh, when it comes to fragrances from Bath & Body Works, or um, fun fragrance mess. I like. I seem to like deeper fragrances, and I like perfumey fragrances as well. Um, <clears throat> and I absolutely love the patchouli note in uh, Into the Night. It's it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, and I most likely will get a. Uh, upgraded package, uh, upgraded version of Into the Night very soon in the larger um, bottle, but for now, um, 
I have this version. So again, that's Into the Night. I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> next, um, again, this is part of their signature uh, collection. This is available all year round. Uh, this is A Thousand Wishes. So this is a classic. Um, next, um, this is again part of their signature um, collection. It, this can be found um, right now in stores. Um, <clears throat> this was released during the Christmas season last year uh, for 2022. I think it was like the beginning of the season. Um, and uh, this is a dream a bright. This is beautiful, guys. I absolutely love it. Um, and um, I actually heard a rumor, guys. This is going to be available for sale during uh, the winter SES. Um, I don't know if they're going to discontinue it or if they're going to repackage it. But if I do see it on sale, I will definitely pick up a backup because I absolutely love Dream Bright. Um, I actually was wearing this today. So, um, yeah, that's Dream Bright. I love the packaging as well. Um, this one, um, again, this is part of their signature line. It's available all year round. This gets released or repackaged over and over. Um, this one is a Champagne Toast. I, um, this is the version I have. This was released last year uh, in the Faceted. And, uh, but of course, um, like I mentioned, you can find this in store uh, all the time. So I love Champagne Toast. Um, I don't wear this one that often, to be honest, guys, because I think it's, and it actually took me a while to pick it up, only because it, it was always available. So, and, uh, um, a few months ago, I decided to pick, finally pick it up and have it in my collection because this is a uh, classic. I absolutely love it. Uh, so yeah, that's Champagne Toast. It's a favorite of a lot of people. Um, and that's why they have it around all the time, right? So um, so this is a, a new one and I picked this up not that long ago. Uh, this is Ballet Nights. So this was part of their, I guess, their holiday um, or New Year's um, collection. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's Ballet Nights. Uh, next, uh, this one was released last year. And sadly, they did not bring this back. Uh, this was released uh, in the beginning of the season. Because I remember buying this one along with the Vanilla Bean Noel from last year. Um, this is Midnight Amber Glow, and be forewarned guys, if you hear some noise in the background, that's just my cat Sophia, she's just playing. Uh, so yeah, that's Midnight Amber Glow. This one is your, again, your coffee caramel uh, fragrance. I absolutely love it. I hope this comes back at some point. I don't know why they discontinued it, because this is quite popular with a lot of people. Uh, so that's Midnight Amber Glow. <clears throat> Next, uh, which was released this year during the hol just before the holiday season, is Luminous. Um, I I do like this fragrance, guys. I know a lot of people think this smells very kind of like old lady like. Um, this one to me, it smells like a very expensive perfume. Um, it is a little bit powdery, in my opinion. Um, I did wear it um, last week, actually, um, one day, um, and uh, I can't wear this one that much, I find, or uh, because because of the powder note, I, this gives me a little bit of a headache. Um, I find any fragrances that have that powder note, whether it's in candles or 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 perfumes or body mist, it, like it gives me a headache. But I do like the luminous actually. There's um, and when I was wearing it last week, um, I was just thinking, this one reminds me of my mother. My mom used to wear a perfume back in the eighties. 
Um, I don't know what it was, but this one smells really similar to that perfume. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I have a feeling it's Shalimar, which is an older fragrance that actually was originally released back in the 1920s. And I did some research on it, and there are a lot of fragrance notes in Shalimar that are quite similar to Luminous. Um, so I feel like it... it it could be um, almost like a dupe for, for Shalimar and or uh, maybe Chanel number no. five uh, because of the powder note and there's also and uh, there's also some sweet notes to luminous which Shalimar does have as well. So um, but yeah, I absolutely love uh, luminous um, and yeah, it's um, happy to have this in my collection. I may get a backup during SAS, but I'm not sure uh, because who knows when they'll bring this one back. Um, so that's luminous. Um, <clears throat> next one is an absolute favorite of mine. Um, <clears throat> and I'm glad they brought it back this year for Christmas uh, 2023. Um, I do have this um, in another packaging. Um, that I have together with my fall and Halloween uh, fine fragrance mist, uh, which my dear friend Sandy was uh, kind enough to send one my way because this one was not available in Canada either uh, online and in stores, but I'm happy they brought this back. Um, this is Dark Kiss. Um, don't mind the packaging, guys. Um, I, I decided to stick some that stickers on here because like I mentioned in previous videos Dark Kiss can easily be uh, repackaged for Halloween as well um, and, and um, even though I I know it was not originally released uh, for Halloween but I could totally see this being repackaged for Halloween um, yeah so I just decided to stick some bat stickers on here so, but yeah, that's Dark Kiss. Um, this one is a very heavy berry incense uh, type of fragrance. I absolutely love it. And, it's, and it is long lasting as well. Um, <clears throat> and the next one I have um, is, uh, I, I guess I wouldn't consider this, consider this as a holiday Fragrance, but I think this can be worn all year round just like the the other ones as well But um, I figured I decided to include this one. This one again is available all year round at Bath and Body Works This is a classic warm vanilla sugar and it pairs off really well with other Fragrances, so yeah, I absolutely love warm vanilla sugar uh, Next um, I have two Diamond Shimmer Mists. Uh, I recently picked up this one. Uh, this is Bright Christmas Morning. And <clears throat> I also picked up a Vanilla Bean a Noel last year for 2022 in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. Um, next, um, I'm going to show you guys my minis. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have Dark Kiss. I have a Midnight Amber Glow in a mini. I have Into the Night in a mini. I have um, uh, Hot Cocoa and Cream, which I recently picked up. Um, <clears throat> I have a Vanilla Bean Noel from this year. Uh, I have a Golden Berry Mistletoe um, in a mini. Um, which is weird though because my local Bath & Body Works store did not get Golden Berry Mistletoe in the full size. I don't know why, but uh, all I could find is the minis. I don't think my store is going to get the full size at any at any point. Um, I think this is too far in the game for them to get the full size, but 
who knows uh, if let's say I go to another city where there's a larger Bath and Body Works store I will s find uh, if there's a, if they have like a a larger size of goldenberry mistletoe. If not, during the SAS uh, sale, I will probably pick up a couple of these. I do like this one, guys. Um, it's not your typical berry fragrance, which is what I like. It's it's different, and I do like it. <clears throat> Next um, is a Jolly Gingerbread Village. Um, this is starting to grow on me, guys. So. Um, yeah, uh, this is your, gin I guess, your gingerbread biscuit uh, fragrance from Bath & Body Works this year. I do like it, though. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. Um, I have Frosted Coconut Snowball in the mini. And the last one is uh, Snowflakes and Cashmere. Um, <clears throat> so those are the minis I have. And I do have an honorary uh, um, mention. This one is Happy Birthday. <laughs> uh, this one, it, to me, it's um, a dupe for or a repackage of Merry Cookie. Uh, I have two of these in my collection. This is your vanilla buttercream um, uh, fragrance. And it's this is great for the holiday seasons but of course all year round but um, yeah I, I'm not sure if this is still available but uh, yeah so this is happy birthday I picked up two of these during the summer um, but uh, anyways um, <clears throat> that is my collection guys it's like I mentioned it's not very large um, and um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to make a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.